Rated T for Teen. Peggy 12. Hey everyone, today we're going to be talking about Assault on Bellaria, the first major expansion for Ion. It's a free expansion and we have a lot of things to cover, so let's get started. So one of the major changes in Assault on Bellaria is the level cap increase. We've raised the level cap from 50 to 55, so now you've got new armor, new weapons, new zones, instances, lots of different things for you and your friends to explore. Assault on Bellaria brings three new zones to all of our players. Elios are going to get Ingeson, Asmodians are going to get Galkmaros, and there's going to be Silent Terra Canyon, which connects both of these maps together. There's going to be a lot of great PvE and PvP content in this zone, so it's something that everybody can enjoy. The best way to get around these zones is with our new Windstream system. It allows players to glide into and out of different Windstreams all over the map and lets you get from point A to point B really quickly. So there's a total of eight new instances. And this is where you're gonna find a lot of the really cool content for everyone. Three of those instances are solo instances. They start at level 18 and go all the way up to 55. My favorite instance is the Nightmare instance where you actually get to play Chromeed from Fire Temple. You go through playing her and you kind of get a sense of the storyline that, that put her in the Fire Temple. So one of the really cool things about this instance is as you go through it, you're discovering trap doors and secret passageways and items that you pick up that do special things. You know, you almost go through this thing feeling like a, a, a secret agent. You, you go through feeling like a, an entire group full of people as far as power is concerned. It's, a, it's truly epic in scale in that regard, and it's a great story. One thing players always want is more reward for their time, so we've gone through and significantly raised the loot table on a lot of our instance bosses. We've raised the XP reward on many of our regular quests as well. So with some of these quests, you'll be getting even more XP than if you completed it on a double XP weekend previously. Pets is something I'm really excited about. We've got a wide range of pets for all of our players to enjoy. Some pets will craft, some pets have their own inventory slots, and some pets will alert you if an enemy is near. We also have purebred pets, which will do a combination of those things. Now the community team puts a lot of focus on social networking and one of the ways that we're really pioneering this movement is by adding Twitter into our game client. So you just killed a big boss monster, you just finished a really tough instance and you want to brag to your friends. With the Twitter integration, now you can. So you can take a couple screenshots, write a quick explanation, boom, it's out on Twitter in a number of seconds all without leaving the game client. And all of that is just the beginning. We've got over 50 pages of patch notes coming to Assault on Boloria. As a producer, I hope everyone really enjoys the new expansion. As a player, I can't wait to jump in and start leveling up. You know, ultimately my favorite thing about Ion is the passionate community that continues to give us great feedback and tell us what they want to see. We really hope we hit the mark with Assault on Boloria, but we want to hear your feedback. Come to the forums, let us know what you think. We can't wait to read it. <laughs>